Janked up Mario Party, hi. That's enough, that's enough of uh, my storytelling. Show chair pictures, I mean, there's not a whole lot to show, it's, it's just a mesh chair. It's just comfortable, alright. Uh, I guess let's continue here. I gotta do the... The usual, uh... Get some lives, because I'm probably gonna lose them right away. Yeah, I mean, the main thing is I gotta start looking after myself a bit more as I'm getting older, and... My profession involves sitting in a chair all day, like... I need to make sure that I take care of myself. So that's pretty much the reason I got it. Um, I got the standing desk last year, so this year is like... Purchase for responsible working adult will is now a proper ergonomic chair. It's also great because if I'm doing like anything that involves drawing, the armrests you can kind of flip them outwards so then it supports your hands better if you're sketching. So that's a neat little thing that it can do. Looking after your back doesn't mean you're old, it just means you're preventing stuff. I have a cousin who did not look after their back and uh, they have very, very bad back problems. And they're only in their 20s. It means I'm a little old. Well, to care about it, yes. To act on it, no. I mean... People can get that kind of stuff sooner. So, what was that? What? That was pathetic. I mean, look, there's a lot of stuff that I, in terms of purchases, I neglected to make. I've, I've talked about this stuff before, like, I didn't buy myself a proper bed and mattress, like a bed frame and mattress, until I, I broke it, like, what, three years ago? And before the gaming chair, I pretty much sat on a kitchen chair, which is not great. The desk that I had, until it, like, quite literally was disintegrating, like... Where the keyboard was resting, I had- it had indented inwards, and, like, the material was getting very thin, and it was about to give way. Because it was made out of that... It's not even wood, it's like... A mesh, a pulp, I don't know what it's called. But it's fake wood. It's like fiber. I was using that for the longest amount of time. Me in my 20s, I did not uh, purchase the things a normal adult should have at that point. The only thing missing now, like, for, for this perfect room now, is just the sound uh, dampening on the walls. But I've asked about that, and it's just an unfortunate case of it's, well, real estate agent doesn't care because it's not essential. But otherwise, this room's pretty nice now. Shit. <laughs> this level's great, by the way. I think the concept for this level has been used, um, in later Mario games, but... This one is... The exit gate isn't a real exit gate. All of them get you killed. So it's like, if you want to survive, you can't touch the exit gate. Which I think is a, is a pretty cool concept. So, wait, how do I do this one? 
Oh, I have to run and... Okay. Okay, it's fine. I slept like a rock, um, overnight, like... I was fe feeling pretty tired after seeing the family yesterday, and... Yeah, I kind of climbed into bed, I put something on, and then before I knew it, I was passed out. It was just... Like... Solid sleep. What the fuck? Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Am I wrong here? What do I do? Ah. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. It's okay. I still think this level's great. But yeah, I guess, like, more and more, and I don't know why, like, it, it should have been obvious sooner, but gaming products aren't really great <laughs> overall. I mean, they're okay, right? But I'm going to die, by the way. Um, you can get other stuff that does the job better. So, like, microphones, for example, like, I went... From having one of the those the the highest recommended microphone for streamers, I won't say what it is. To like a just a mixer and a a combo of mixer and an XLR mic, which does a bit a way better job than that mic ever did. Gaming chairs gone. This chair's better. And you know what? As far as headphones go, if it wasn't for the fact that, like, the headset is wireless, I would go, like, a wired headset. But the wireless part is, is, uh, is definitely convenient. So that's pretty much the only gaming thing I have. I guess this mouse is a gaming mouse, but it's like, it's old now. Like, I've been debating on, uh, going back to, like, the high DPI ones instead of a gaming one. I'm not an FPS player, like, what the fuck do I need a gaming mouse for? <laughs> If you have a wireless one now, it's very convenient. But you'll always feel the wired one is better quality. Yeah, I mean, with my side, I think it's just a pain to have it run out of batteries. I guess that's why I don't want to go wireless. The only experience of a wireless mouse I had, and it's pro- it's- admittedly, it's not the best one. But I only had this because it came with, uh, my laptop that I purchased. Um, was the Apple Magic Mouse, which has by far the worst recharge design ever, like... You want to talk about, uh, functionality of a form? The fucking- for the- if you're not aware, the way you charge that mouse, you have to plug in the, uh, the cable into the base of the mouse. So you have to flip the mouse upside down and then plug it in that way, which means you can't use it if it's recharging. And it's been like that for, like... I mean, it's getting there. I would say it's getting close to a decade. That's so stupid. It is, yeah. 
So whenever that thing was running low, it just, you know, it sucked. I quickly got, got rid of that thing. Oh, you were thinking about the headset. Yeah, um, headset-wise, the wide ones are always better in terms of audio quality. Because Bluetooth isn't at the point where it can transmit audio at a high bitrate. And I say that in, in the context of, like, lossless audio. Um, the bandwidth is too high. But I think the new Bluetooth standard that's coming out is gonna have, like, a different compression method that'll allow it better. CRAP! Um, that's why I have a separate pair of headphones for listening to records with, just cause... It's better. Wired is better. But I mean, for this, like... I don't think I have high fidelity music on here, so... This is fine. I just wonder, like, how many people are gonna... I mean, people growing up in the whole gaming gear era, like, they're gonna get back issues just because they get gaming chairs that aren't exactly great in terms of, uh, support. There's a bunch of stuff that's been caused by, like, the internet that we won't really know the effects of until... Oh, you dick, it disappeared. Until way later. Like, the whole, uh, the whole thing with, uh, like, parents just putting on YouTube videos on autoplay and not really watching what their kids are watching. And that genre of videos that has popped up, which is, like, just, they've been designed to, uh, appear in the, the algorithm for that, like, autoplay stuff. It's kind of wild, those videos. They're, they're so surreal. They all, they all speak in broken English, and sometimes some of them, the content they show, really isn't for kids. Still in the guinea pig era, yeah. Well. I grew up right on the edge of that, like... I'm only half ruined, at least. It's disturbing to say the least. Oh, some of the ones I've seen lately... Oh my god, I can't get this down. Some of the ones I've seen lately... Ugh, oh, they've been... I thought the Finger Family ones were a bit scary, but there's other ones that are way more cursed than Finger Family. They now have these ones that are trying to, like... They're trying to tell a story and have a moral to the story, but it's just, it's horrible. And for whatever reason, they involve Sonic the Hedgehog quite a bit. I don't know why, like, maybe it's- I guess it's just the time because, uh... Sonic is kind of popular amongst younger kids at the moment because of the movie. Sonic is cursed, checks out. Nah, like, this is... <sighs> In one of them... Sonic's- Sonic has a- a kid, and the mother just randomly dies. And then, they're all sad, and Sonic gets depression over the death. And then, it's something like, she starts haunting them for whatever reason. Like, it's just... A roller coaster of em Fuck! A roller coaster of emotions, not a roller coaster of fuck.
I know, I know, I know. Was that a bra over the roller coaster of fuck or just a jump? I didn't forget to jump, it's just. Timing. Yeah, how's it going, Nick, anyway? I don't like this one. Fuck! Oh, why does it- Why does it disappear so soon? Is it because I'm- I'm letting it go to the left side of the screen and then it just despawns? That might be it. There's a stage in Mario 3D World where, like, the pole is alive, the flagpole. And if you hit the flagpole too soon, you don't finish the level properly. So this is just uh, a more extreme version of that. There we go. Yeah, I guess because it was too far to the left. Fuck me. Um. Okay, got it. No problem. <laughs> oh no, not this. I hate. Okay. Uh, this this one's bad too. Let me. That's a secret exit. Shit. <laughs> I'll see if I can get it. Oh, wait. Ah, I'm gonna go get a cape. I'll have to link, like, some of the Sonic stuff in Discord later. Or potentially just <laughs> just be like, hey, let's watch some of them. <laughs> I'm telling you that they're, they're horrible. I don't think you're prepared for how... how strange they are. And... the thing is... From what I've heard, the best- the best part about these is, um... So they all use 3D models. Hold on, I need to focus. Ooh, that did not work. I need to scroll the screen across. Um, they all use 3D models, right? To do the animation. Um... To cut a long story short, they've, uh, taken 3D models from... Hentai. So, a lot of the time, these characters will be doing poses. So, like, something as simple as a handshake, for example. Um, they might be doing a gesture that, uh, would be different. Let's just say. Like, they might be hanging on to... ...to something that's not there. If you know what I mean. Uh-oh. I messed it up. It's okay, I want another try at the, uh... ...the extra thing. I got the door like this.
Oh, no! I have to go up. Shit. Okay. It's alright, I got one attempt every time I die. No! <laughs> Damn it! Ah, uh, I thought I fell down. Hey, uh, hey, uh, no, thanks for the raid. Nice timing, huh? How was uh, the stream? What were you up to today? Yeah, I'm playing this uh, this ROM hack, which is just a collection of uh, I'd say they're pretty neat levels. Played some more Monster Hunter and finished Transaruby or Metroidvania. Okay. Haven't heard of that one. <laughs> Transaruby, that is. I've heard of Monster Hunter. Oh, come on! Damn it. I pressed it too late. So, in this stage, the, uh, the gates are not for real. Okay. Here we go. Uh, no, that, that's obviously fake. <laughs> what? Why would I even consider? Wait, what? Is that real? Okay, it's real. Jeez. <laughs> I thought, I thought for a sec it was going to send me into a pit or something. Thanks for the GG. Okay, but I gotta do it again and get the other exit, so... Oh, no. It's okay, I'll just spin jump across. Or not. Oh uh, yeah, you know, you know, Nick. I keep forgetting to change the uh, the code on that to be like, what do you want it to be? You want it to be double capital G, right? No, oh, what have I done? <laughs> what was that? Ah, <laughs> uh, start and select. <laughs> what time is it in Australia? Uh, on the East Coast at 7 p.m. Shush! Just... I only finished my work day recently, okay? I need time to adjust.
Should you watch a more skilled streamer? Go for it. <laughs> Depends how you want to get entertained. Do you, do you want to, like, try to learn something, or do you want to, do you want to have some fun and laugh? Like, what is your goal here? I never advertised to be a skill streamer. It's not like it's like, oh yeah, top Mario player in Australia. You know the word shambles is in my... My Twitch username, right? Like, it just means a, a mess. I don't, I don't know what you're expecting here. Seven PM Monday. Uh, yeah. Oh crap! <laughs> I can't. I can't put. I can't. No, I can't start and select and stop that. Uh, the Australian time zone is like, well, the East Coast one. It's. I think the New Zealand time zone is the only other time zone ahead of ours. I did that too far. No, okay, it's fine, it's fine. No, it's not! It despawned. <sighs> it's 1am there. Oh, so it's like... American, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm just, I'm not doing this properly anymore. I, I had this down. Okay, do not kick this away like an idiot. Okay, got it. First try. Damn it. Alright. But see, now this is where the start and select comes in handy. I can just reset and try again. Okay. 
I don't know what happened there. Oh, you're in Alaska. No kidding. Don't think I've ever had anyone from Alaska tune in. Oh, <laughs> I got it wrong. Wait, no, no, wait, wait, wait. I might still be able to get in. Hang on. I might, it might still work. It might still work. I think I have to be little Mario. No, I have to be small Mario. Okay, never mind. It gets chilly occasionally. What, really? In Alaska? No, get out of here. Next thing you're gonna tell me, it gets hot in Australia. Okay, got it. That's the one. I don't even remember what... What does this give me? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I, I guess I get an invitation to eat shit. That's that's what happened. It looks like if I get the blue switch palace, that'll uh. Wait, I got the blue switch palace, huh? Wait, un unless I saw the wrong color block, what? What? Oh, it's light blue. Huh. Got it again. Alright, and this time I have health with me. Okay, here we go. Ooh, this is a little... This is a little annoying. <laughs> I don't like this fight. It appears to be on the side of tedious. The middle of summer now, it's hot. Okay, but define hot. Let's let's hear let's hear it. I wanna hear what hot is. It's like when I'm talking about how cold it is here now, people are like, that's not cold. What do you mean? That's not winter. It's like a beautiful day. Crap. 80 Fahrenheit. Let's do the conversion. 80 F to C. 26. Pfft. That's like... Are you kidding? That's a nice spring day here in Australia. It's like perfect weather. Crap, I always- ah, I just barely missed that one. I 
I wish the checkpoint was through the door, that'd be great. Then I would only have to do this once and just focus on the fight. Okay, got it. Okay, here we go. Oh, I just let go of that at the right time. Okay. One more. One more. Don't die. No! <laughs> Damn it. I need to stand on the edge of one and try to pick the one directly opposite. I was thinking, how am I going to get that one without falling through? <sighs> that's evil. You can get two of them reliably. It's the third one that's the pain. Ah, I was close. That's fine. It's only a matter of time. It's okay, I press start and select. I, I didn't die. You see that? I still have seven lives. Ooh, no, it's fine. As long as the end part stays intact. I saved it. <laughs> How did that even happen? I grabbed it and somehow grabbing it, I caused the other block to go into spin. What? I don't understand how I did that. Okay, come on. This is the one. This is the one. Just ignore that. I should... Ugh. I was gonna try and get the hard one first. No, no, what have I done? <laughs> Okay, this is not the one. Idiot. Why would I- why would I do that? I think it's just because I saw the ghost and I panicked. And so I did the spin jump, because it's like, spin jump, that's fine, I'll bounce off the ghosts. And instead I just caused the worst hazard. I think this is just order of operations. 
Oh no! It didn't work. Okay, I need to do the same thing again. No. What? Why? Okay, I get how this works now. You get the inner one first. I gotta go back for life soon. Because if I game over, I think it's gonna undo the completion of this stage. Crap. No. <sighs> this control is very old, so I have to really press the start and select buttons really hard. This is my childhood Super Nintendo controller I'm using, so it's like 25 years old, or thereabouts. Okay, come on. Okay, good. One. Just for safety, I'm gonna... Okay, it's okay. <laughs> Shit, come on. <laughs> oh god. Ugh. Okay. Oh, come on! <laughs> so annoying. Choking. <laughs> I'm getting faked out by the ghosts. I needed to be closer to the edge. I think you can also do a... Oh, hold on. I think you can also grab it and jump immediately, but it, I just haven't gotten the timing down on that. Got to be kidding me, I had the block. 
begeistert das. Ach! I was hoping that the ghost would reappear before they hit that corner. Okay, I've got it this time. This is this is the one. Still not out of the question. It's so annoying to grab him. Did it again! <sighs> the block that I was trying to run to just did the flip thing. <sighs> I got two more lives and then I gotta go get more lives. I'm so close, it's just one more hit. I don't even think the reward for this is something that's worth it anyway, it's like... It's purely a progression thing. Okay, I can't get in the door that way. Like, I'm pretty sure where it's going to take me I can't or shouldn't do yet. That's that's the best part about this is this is all just for something that I'm probably not gonna do right now. Shit. The other option is I, I find out how to activate these light blue switches and then just come back when that's done. Because then I actually have a floor in that fight, then I won't fall through. Okay. Got it.
Oh, 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 oh das ist Gift. Haha! <laughs> Yay! Yeah, 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 I got, I got a tunnel underneath to the stage that I've already finished. Yeah! Worth the 20 plus lives that took. Isn't completionism fun? I'm getting more lives. I pretty much choose to inflict that suffering upon myself, that's... That's the gist of it. I'll get it back up to 30 lives, because that's, I think, a sweet spot. more times. What? <laughs> Whatever. I thought I had the timing on that. Okay, it's still decent. I think this should do. It's close enough. I can't remember what's next in terms of stages. Glacier soup. What is this? Why do they? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why they call it glacier soup. Fine. <laughs> uh oh. No cape to back me up. Oh, that okay, that's what that explains it. All the surfaces are made out of ice, so they're slippery. That's why I'm not able to control where I'm moving properly. Okay. So, there's the ice on the surfaces, and also there's, uh, there's a current as well in the water, so... Yay. No, no. Ah, oh, damn it. Good. Great use of f fire flower. <laughs> Jeez. Just keep going. Okay. 
this part is cursed. Ah, some nice peaceful music. What is this? I'm kind of worried that I'm going backwards, but sure. Okay, checkpoint, we're good. Ugh. Oh, heading off JTOL. Alright, no worries. Thanks for popping in. What is this? Okay. Well, that's just gone. Dude. <laughs> okay. Still alive. Okay. Still alive. <laughs> Still ice physics. God. Okay. Uh. Oh no. Okay, good. Okay, I see. Please be a mushroom. Please be a mushroom. Thank you. I don't- I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Go for the coin. Okay. Oh, no. Turn it off! No! Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that was so close. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay, we're good. Uh, cool kicking. I'm just gonna get my power-ups before I start the stage. I can't wait to leave this ice area.
just get rid of all the snow physics. Ugh. Alright. Oh, it's... Yoshi? Why do I feel like I remember this? still. I think this involved doing something very... Yep, 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 yep. This was a punch in the dick. This whole stage, I remember now. <laughs> I'm just gonna do the stage normally and then do the secret later. But pretty much you have to go through this whole stage without losing Yoshi. And you have to run with the shell in its mouth. safely, I don't think. Oh, what is this? 98 seconds. I'm getting the checkpoint. And then that way if I die I can just go back for the coin. Oh, okay, just die. Wait, I can't get back up? I think I have to spin jump on that thing to get back up. <sighs> Unnecessarily annoying. No? Okay, nope. I'm going to go get the cape. You can't really do that with normal jumps easily. Okay, what do now? Uh... Wow, this is obnoxious. <sighs> I have to land on it properly. There we go. Dickhead. <laughs> Got it? Yeah. <laughs> it took a while. Oh, shut up. I got enough time. I hope. I have to bounce off the football here. Oh, boy. Okay, maybe not. What do you... <sighs> Go through the gate. Okay, now I need to remember how to do this part. Wait, where does this go? Okay. I'm pretty sure with the Yoshi thing I have to, uh...
I'm pretty sure I have to clear a passageway for him. And then go back for him. Because it's too much of a pain to take him along. I'm pretty certain on that one. Let me just see, does he despawn? No, he doesn't. Alright, cool. Then I will be back for you, Joshy. Once all these idiots are gone. <sighs> Ice! <laughs> I swear I'm not incompetent, it's just everything is slippery. get me that time. Okay, and that's it there. So I need to make it with, uh, with Joshi. Without losing Joshi. Cool, all right. Switch is yellow, yo. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, no. I have memories of this one. I have memories of this one. Good luck. This is all it says. Good luck. Puzzle. The fuck? I don't remember how to do this. through the pipe again. Okay, I remember. I have to murder Joshi. What the? Okay. The, no, you know what? That works. Cool. Right, so now this one's gonna hatch. Okay. That was stupid of me. <laughs>
Okay, so... I forget how to get rid of this green one initially. I need to stay away from that egg, because otherwise it's going to hatch. Ah, screw it. Just go. Okay, so... Oh, that's not distracting at all. How much do you want to eat, dude? Good luck! Okay, there we go. Now... Fuck does this work? Huh? I don't get it. Look up. Nope, can't look up. Oh, no, it does work. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Shit. I bet that was important. This is a puzzle level. I need to be able to ditch him easier. Wait a minute. Why did I go to the effort of keeping the yellow Yoshi? Okay, if the goal is to just get over... Couldn't I just do that? I mean, okay, that does become a one-up, but hang on. Right, so now I'm over. I don't understand. Whoa, what? Huh? There's no way that's a shell jump, I... Okay, I can bring this with me now. Which means I can get rid of Yoshi here.
Okay, that get rid that's good. That gets rid of him. I feel like there's like large amounts of copium here. <laughs> Oh my god, I think I just figured it out. Okay, 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 okay. I see what this is about to do. Okay, that explains that. I think I get this. Doesn't save it. So then, what? I thought it would save my progress. I don't get what this is asking of me then. I can't get Yoshi over that gap. Okay, I got a I got a new strategy for this. Shit, not that. Not die. <laughs> this is very long winded, but I think I think I understand. what I wanted. Now, I think I get it. Wait, do I? I, I might. All right, let's, let's just, I'm going to try my idea out. No! <laughs> Fuck. Damn it. 
You know, it's a good thing there's no time limit on this, otherwise this would be a little... a little bit annoying. There has to be an easier way to ditch this Yoshi. Okay, whatever. Let's just do it again. If I am understanding this correctly. Okay. Now... No, but then... Ugh. Maybe I'm not. Now... That's all well and good, but then what good is that? It's like... I get over here and it's the same problem. Okay, I'm bringing the shell with me at the very least. Okay, I caught it. Let me try this. <laughs> That's annoying. I have to do better to try and catch it. I think I- I know I've said this before, I think I understand what it wants me to do. But now, I- I think I actually get it. No. Oh. Okay. It's enough- ah! It's enough. Ditch this Yoshi. Okay, that Yoshi's gone. Now this Yoshi can survive. Okay, now we have a... But then...
Fuck. Oh, this is annoying. <laughs> I need to make it grow with that mushroom. How, the f how, how am I supposed to do that? This just seems tedious. Good. 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 Yeah, totally not obnoxious at all. I'll give it a few more guys. I, I might have to come back to this one. This one... It's a bit of a teaser. I mean, I think I understand the premise of it. It's just... It's kind of annoying to set it up. I haven't quite perfected the block grab jump either. Good luck! the yellow Joshi. Okay, got it. me clench. <laughs> Dude, what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> this party, uh, um, I mean, hold on, let me... Can't drop it on the block, like it has to be a Okay, got it. What do you what do you, what do you, what do you mean? <laughs> ah come on. Oh come on. No, come on. I have to grab the right one, but it destroyed- <sighs> <sighs> This is so annoying. <laughs>
that part there. I'm not fun. Okay, I need to open up a hole now. This is, this is as far as I've gotten so far. Nice. <laughs> oh, this is so annoying. I don't want this to turn into like three hours of attempts, jeez. This is one of these things that is just so damn precise. Even assuming I have the right idea here, but I don't really have any other op any other options that I can see. Wait, what have I done? Yeah, okay, this is what I need to do. Good! Yep. Great. Solid attempt. Dude, this level's exhausting. Leave me alone. <laughs> it's just... It takes so long to set up that. Didn't press jump at the same time. I pressed it like a little bit too late. If only there was an easier way to get rid of this first Yoshi, it would be less tedious. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong, oh yeah? Suggestion? Let's hear it. Okay. I'm all for suggestions.
take it to the Yoshi and then feed it on the first go. But then that Yoshi can't get over here. Like, I have a Yoshi currently. So let's say I fed that Yoshi, right? On the first go. That means I don't have a Yoshi anymore. And for the next part, you need a Yoshi. That Yoshi is already there. What? No, but that, that that's where the yellow Yoshi comes from. Fuck. Mistimed it. Okay, well. I mean, at least I still have a Yoshi in my hand, so that's nice. I guess I just keep trying until I get it. Now I need to... There we go. Um, okay, hang on. I feel like this is a meticulous move here. I'm supposed to catch the Yoshi. How the fuck am I supposed to do that? Great, I'm back at the start. However, I do have this. Okay, but now this Yoshi can fly. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. It's okay. Be little Mayro. Okay. Whatever, I, I resolved it. Huh? I haven't resolved it, have I? Oh, thank fuck. <laughs> I was going to say.
Aside from the initial setup, that wasn't too bad. Okay. I guess, let me link up those two paths. Everything else has been done here now. That's the thing you need to find to make your life easier? What? <laughs> what do you need to find? A blue shell. Crumbling your problems away. Oh no. Warning, this cave betrays science. Falling down pits will damage you and send you flying upwards. So this forces you to spin jump. It said your life will be easier now. Oh. Yeah, I sincerely doubt that. Good. Wait, it forces you to spin jump even when you're holding something? <laughs> I thought I was safe to land. I was like, haha, I can't spin jump if I'm carrying something. I thought I'd cheated the system. Oh, it's okay. You don't die if you fall in a pit, it told me. You do, however, die if you fall in the pit a second time. shell it's pointless wait what unless I'm not doing this right it doesn't it didn't seem like I could jump high enough to do that They go off the edge. Okay, cool. Oh. <laughs> ah, what a great stage. So when you go over that icon, it forces you to spin jump. That's what it is. I get it now. Shit. <laughs> I tried to squeeze him there. I mean, it's, it's an interesting stage. Just have to be careful, I guess. Wait, why did I, why did I do that? Okay, salvaged. <laughs> but, like, I clearly made shit worse by doing that. Oh, God. Okay, we're good. Halfway mark. Oh. 
You really couldn't draw a stop sign? Again, why am I doing that? <laughs> stop spin jumping. It's such a bad habit. It's like... It's just ingrained from all the hours I used to play Super Mario World as a kid. It's just, oh, there's a dangerous enemy. Spin jump off them. I have to ignore every single instinct that tells me to do that. This is horrible. Okay, we good. We good. We good. Right, what what is this fresh hell right here? Uh-oh. Uh Okay. Chose this at the end of the day, it's my own fault. What the, what the, do I, I think I just have to take it slowly, I guess. Good. Oh, I get it. Jeez. <laughs> that was an ordeal. Don't fuck me on this one! No! Ah, oh, I just missed. No! See, it's no. I'm clearly saying no. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I keep forgetting, don't jump. Don't jump. Good. It's not like I needed health. Ah, oh, damn it. Help that time. Never mind. Uh, yes, you did not lose health. Uh oh. No, it's fine. Oh my god. I'm not sure how I managed to stay alive there. <sighs> I overshot it. Okay. Running out of lives. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Come on. Does this stage have dragon coins? Okay, it doesn't. I thought for a sec. Wait, I haven't seen any coins yet. I have to go get more lives after this one. Assuming I die again. Which, very likely. I have not been successful with this stage. Okay, no, we're getting more lives. <laughs> it does not let me use the, uh, the cape either. As it would help slow down the, uh, the fall. Okay, well, let's chill for a sec. Nice jumping. Unfortunately, if I let it game over, it's gonna erase progress from the previous save point, which I do not want to happen. Let's take it to 20 and that should be okay. Hopefully. Uh, that stage is just, uh, doing everything in its power to mess with me from a muscle memory perspective. Well, hello, Raiders. Pat CDR, thank you so much for the raid. If all else fails, use fire. That's some words to live by. Okay. Got this. Uh, what were you all up to tonight? Stream wise. Today, tonight, whatever it might be. Ugh. No. Good advice from a Zelda 2 NPC. I, I kind of figured it sounded like a Zelda 2 line, but I didn't want to say so. Oh, damn it. You're playing Zelda 2, got through Palaces 3, 4, and 5. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm one of those uh, few people that also enjoys Zelda 2. Were you just playing vanilla or, uh, like a modded version? Vanilla-ish? Yeah, I kind of figured. Oh, it's self mod. Okay, gotcha. No, it's awesome. I've been kind of holding out. Um, there's like a mod that some dude's working on that's modernizing Zelda 2. I've been itching to play it, but hasn't released it yet.
Okay, and go. Also, you'll have to excuse if I'm not reading for like a minute. Okay, I have health this time. Uh, okay. Oh, what fresh hell is this? Ugh. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, got it. Wait, is... Is this for real? Is, is this a real ending or is this just one of these fake ones? I think it's fine. <laughs> Pat has modded the game so people can redeem tunic colors for Link with channel points. Oh, that's cool. That's a really fun idea. And some other fun effects, like bit messages appear as text on top of the screen as it's all happening on his NES console. Well, I applaud you for that. The talent required to do that is, uh, is significant, I can imagine. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty awesome way to get viewers involved. Um, yeah, if you want to check out a very interesting development in terms of Zelda 2. Um, what's the dude's name? I think it's Hoverbat, but look up Hoverbat Zelda 2. That's the dude that's working on the mod that I was talking about. He's taken the code uh, and put it into Game Maker, and so it's running modernized 16 by 9. Uh, it's using all the original physics, of course. And then he's just added, like, so much quality of life stuff that puts it more in line with modern Zelda games. So, like, there's heart pieces, there's a world map. Um, the platforming actually has some significance to it. So far, he's only... If you're familiar with Vine Source, um, that popular streamer, Vinny's the only one that's played it so far. And it looked really, really good. Hasn't released yet, but he's uh, releasing teasers on YouTube constantly. What is this? Hold on, I should probably read. Puffer has taken your power up so you can't harm him. Watch out for the red urchins. No A jumping on them. Slide jumping. First half. Wait. First half hold down only, not left or right when jumping. What? <laughs> Wait, but oh no, 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 no. I got I got swindled. I get it. I can't just do that. Does the dev plan to make it open source for Game Maker? No idea, to be honest. Not really sure what the release plans are for it. Um, it kind of came out of nowhere, like... He hasn't really shown it publicly. I have no idea about the stage, for the record, so... Oh, I get it. Okay. Don't press a direction and just let physics do the rest. Is this a morsel one? Oh, I, I imagine this is a level creator that's infamous. Uh, 
damn it. Do I want a small piece of sliding advice? Hit me. He says as he gets it. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, right. They said no spin jumping, right? Always face forward. All right. I will take that on board. On the overworld, you can see the creator by pressing select. A word? Uh. Not. I'm pressing it. It doesn't seem to be happening. LR, no. Start? Oh, I'll do it next step. Maybe. I tried playing this, like, four years ago, and... I had an unfortunate incident where uh, my save data got corrupted somehow. And I was sad, so I didn't attempt to play it again. But now enough time has passed that I'm checking it out. I don't think I ever checked out the, uh, the creator's names. It varies from hack to hack. Okay. But now that you say that, I vaguely remember that it was a thing. I think it was something that you unlocked using the dragon coins later. I can't spin jump on these because they said I couldn't, so... Wait, can I... Okay, I can. Oh, wow. <laughs> really? Really? Okay, this is not good. Uh... It's a... The creator's pretty much disabled the only defense mechanism I have, right? That's... that's the gimmick, aside from the physics. Ah. I think the thing about that Zelda project is... As much as I'm intrigued in it, it's kind of a thing where... The less people know about it, the better, because we all know what happens with fan projects. That are, like, good remakes. I don't want to awaken the base, but yeah. Oh, come on, what, what, what is wrong with me? But then, that, I guess that would require Nintendo actually acknowledging Zelda 2. Which they don't really do. It's a shame about the corrupted save file, you would be torn if it happened to you. Yeah, it wasn't great, and I was, like, right near the end as well. And I had gone through some very difficult le levels that took me, like, a few hours.
Nintendo is too busy? I don't know. Apparently not busy enough. Since they're, uh... Shutting down music channels left, right, and center. I thought they learnt their lesson when it came to YouTube, but I guess not. <laughs> Do I hold right? Maybe accidentally. I might be fat fingering it, to be fair. I do have a uh, big hand, so this control is a bit tiny. The other thing is the con the controller I'm using is uh is pretty old. I would say I should probably open it up and clean it or something, but. Because I know with start and select in particular, I have to... I have to press them super hard for them to register. Kaizo loves this mechanic. Eh. I think for me, one level of this is enough. <laughs> At least it's giving me an easy reset, so that's nice. It doesn't have to be so tedious. Okay, there we go. There we go. Once I get into the rhythm of it. But see, then there's this. What have you seen happening with music channels is that other people have copyrighted portions of Nintendo music? Like, they use a castle music in a song, copyright their own song, and then anyone plays a castle theme or remixes it gets a copyright claim. Oh no, I was referring to the channels that host, like, just Nintendo soundtracks for people to listen to. Um, and Nintendo just strike pretty much all of them down. But that, that also is a problem, yes, like, someone makes... And you'll have to excuse me when I say shitty, but I don't mean that the music is necessarily bad. It's just annoying in the context of, you know, their little song, they sample Ocarina of Time, and then it's like, haha, copyright strike, prove you're innocent. It's like it shouldn't be a thing. Yeah, Silver Gun was one of them, and then... Oh, there was someone else that it happened to recently as well. And look, it wouldn't be a big deal if... ...this stuff was available on music services, right? Because then it's like, yeah, I mean, okay, it wasn't their music, but at least... ...Nintendo's provided an alternative. Nope. What? What? <laughs> what? What do? I can't spin jump off it. Well, what? What is this? Okay, hold on. Or how about a song that includes all kinds of sound effects from a game, so every time you stream it, each sound of that it plays gets claimed. 
Yeah. I mean, that's a weird state of things right now. Like, people can't even stream watching, like, game trailer announcements because they'll use some song in it. And you have to mute the, uh, the trailer right away. Otherwise, big trouble. You know, gamers give Konami a lot of shit, but they have way more soundtracks on music streaming services than Nintendo does. Pretty much any company that we throw shade at has more music on streaming services than Nintendo. You know, I'm gonna drop down and get the other mushroom just so I'm not dying. Okay, so what? Am I brute forcing this? It's, that doesn't seem right. Okay, no. Wow, this is actually horrible. <laughs> Wait. Uh huh. You can't wait for the internet to copyright claim human breathing noises and talking noises. Dude, already happened. People have gotten content claims for white noise and crickets. But like in, in the case of people that make royalty free samples, for example, they'll put them on YouTube, someone will use said sample in a song, and then the original sample gets copyright claimed. Yeah. So pretty much, if I am to assume, like, the stage feels like I'm trying to grate some cheese with sandpaper, it's, it's this dude named Morsel that's made it. Is that about right? Like... It's like, sure, eventually I'll get there, but what I end up with is far from ideal, and I begin to question my own sanity. Would that be about right? <laughs> I mean, I, I guess that's what you want as a, as a creator. Is... For people to know that it's just your kind of design, right? It's like, they, they can recognize it without even knowing. Okay, well, I messed that up. I love how it gives that thing enough time to catch up. Oh, okay, I can't bounce off it. Imagine being that guy that puts copyright on a copyright free sample, you got copyright free and you just ruin it for everyone. I think in those cases, more often than not, it's the record label that does it. Because record labels don't care. They just... They haven't quite understood how the internet works just yet. I know some people that have made music and, you know, they're the indie type people. And a lot of these are uh, content managers. The ones that put all this... They manage the whole streaming service upload and all that stuff. Um, the default is pretty much, hey, it's going to get content claimed if anyone uses it. So that's the thing. Mm. 
Morsel if it's painful because of the gimmick. Jolpe if it's painful because it's long as shit. Okay. The stage that I did, the Yellow Switch Palace. I'm, I'm kind of curious who did it now. Because that, that wasn't hard, it was just annoying to set up. No, nah, it was the Yellow Switch Palace. It's the one in the uh, ice area. Oh, and oh, what was the name of that other stage that I really did not like? Um, also in the ice area. I'll, I'll have to find the name of it. Green switch is more cell. Okay, hang on. It's, I need to get lives anyway, so hold up. No, so it was, it was this one. This switch palace here with the Yoshi puzzle. Oh, there you go. It's start. Okay. I mean, it wasn't hard, it was just a little annoying to set up, but... Uh, I did not like Peaks of Revolution. Who, who made it? Okay, this... It was just the fire flowers and ice that was... A little annoying. Okay, so... I'm kind of curious, have I done anything by this dude? No, oh, that was fun. I like that stage. Maybe I haven't encountered this dude yet. Okay, there's a Jolpy stage. That one just felt janky because of the hitboxes. I, I don't think I would fault the stage for that one. Huh. Alright, we'll, we'll go. We'll go see. <laughs> I hate ice. Dude, please. I'll get it to 20 lives. Oh yeah, for all of you that have played this ROM hack, I heard that there's a second one. But I, I never, never checked that out. Do you think it's worth checking out? What was it called? It was called like Yump or something instead. I forgot the name of it. Jump one, uh, w wait, one out of two? So wait, there's two, so jump is something else. Jump one out of two is fantastic. Jump is part of the series, not the sequel. Got it, okay. So there is a second one, okay. We'll have to look into that. Jump half. I didn't want to say half, because that felt... Like, why would they call it half if it's a sequel? Okay, so... Oh! Okay. Well, you, you were correct. You can... You can definitely pick out who made this.
I guess now now I'll be on the lookout. Now I'll, now I'll know if something is feeling difficult. The thing is, it's not like this mechanic is bad, it's just... This could be very fun, it's just why... Why does the creator of the stage have to kick me in the crotch with that pufferfish? Nah, not hard enough. Player needs a real challenge. So we put this pufferfish in the way. And get this. You know that one defense tactic you can do against it? I'll just fucking remove it. Yeah. Real challenge. Wait, the fish is gone. Nope, never mind. <laughs> the fact that you have to swim as well. I'm gonna lose it right away. No! <laughs> oh, okay. 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 <sighs> Dude, this part here, like, what? What is this? What is this? The worst part is there's no checkpoint up until that point. It's like. You have to get through that gauntlet to get the checkpoint. Yep. This- this right here is perfect, it's like, it just lets it catch up. Drop down. Despawn it. There we go. Because Morsel enjoys kicking people in their crotches with pufferfish, that's pretty much his day job too. What day job would involve kicking people in the crotch? <laughs> I'm trying to trying to think like what would be a metaphorical crotch kick in terms of career. Lawyer? Morsel knows exactly what he's doing with his levels. Very distinguished creator, but a very evil spirit in his levels. He even teases you with the sight of that checkpoint. You can almost reach it. Yeah. I'm growing more and more accustomed to the, what the stage wants me to do, but oh, whatever. I'm I'm just I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna do that, dude. What is this? <laughs> Why? Just like he's just turned a level that could be potentially fun into something that. Uh, I don't know. A groin cup tester. Wait, but wouldn't, like, if he was kicking people in the groin, he wouldn't be the cup tester, though. Instead, he would work for a consultancy agency that would get the cup tested. They wouldn't use their own employees, no, 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 no. They would get people off the streets, hire them, just have some clickbait-type title, like, want to make $6,000 easily? And you would go take 
this uh, ad and be like, hey, I'm here for the $6,000. And he would take you into the next room and be like, here, wear this. And then before you know it, bam, swift kick to the groin. And then he hands you the $6,000. Only you realize that it's locked in a little glass case. And to get said glass case, you need to go through a series of doors. Each of which, every time you open a door, just, again, punches you in the groin. And sure, at the end of the hallway, eventually you will get your $6,000 out of the glass box, but... You just question your existence for just coming into that building. Like, why? You tested the cup once. What was with the hallway of groin punches? You punched me in the groin once. Surely that was enough to test the sturdiness of the, the cup. And then you tease me with payment. Only to lead to more crutch punches. I don't know. I, I hope my analogy kind of... Got across just how annoying the stage can be now. Just go ahead. Uh-oh. Game, please. Okay. And I'm one to do things that cause suffering, like... I've done many things across my years of streaming that... You would question why I would bother. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna sink again. It's, it's not just even the fact that there's a puffer fish here, there's like little fish as well, as if that wasn't enough. Okay, the dude's disabled panning the camera across as well. Great. So I, I can't even judge this properly unless I'm in the water with fuckface here. Oh my god, so bad. <laughs> the camera's usually disabled, really. I guess maybe because I haven't tried panning the camera much, but the times that I've had to use it, it's been there for me. I feel so good when I do that very fluidly, but then comes this part where, like, all that joy is just taken away from me. Oh, you can kill- oh, wait a sec. No, but it wouldn't survive that long, would it? I feel like if I take one of those blocks, he's just gonna spawn a second one. Like, that to me just seems like a glimmer of hope that probably is not gonna end up anywhere. <laughs> Good. Is this stage just a case where, like, you have to learn that fish's mechanics and how it moves? It's movement based on player. Oh my god. 
No, this is... <laughs> this jump right here. What... what is this? Okay, whatever, just please. Ah! Any words of advice for that part? Aside from, yeah, don't die. Avoid fish. I only pressed down. Oh, I didn't mean for the for the sliding part. I meant for getting up to that part in the first place. <laughs> A tactic to avoid fish and that part where it's like that obstacle in the middle, and you got to get across. Oops, wrong button. One up. Kill the fish. Yeah, so can- can I... Get him! Okay. Is this- is this gonna work? Okay, so, cool, I, I can just murder it. Oh my god. Alright! <laughs> Progress! Um... What is it? Oh. No! It's okay. It's still dead. Oh wait. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, okay. There's a kindness here. He's not completely evil. Oh, thank fuck. Ugh. Wait, what? Wait, what is this? <laughs> what is this? Oh, dude, this feels like something out of Battletoads. Okay, so that's what is meant by red ones. Got it. So wait, why couldn't the stage have just been this? This... This feels like it's more fun than whatever that was. I- I know I, I'm answering my own question here, like, why couldn't it have been? I, I, I think I know the answer to that, why? What? My life count is going down still. Oh! Shit. Uh, I have to go get more lives then. Yeah, I, I can't keep doing that. Oh, please tell me it's not gonna make me do this whole thing again. Yeah, instant retry doesn't equal infinite lives. Oh, 
It'll save the checkpoint. Okay, then I'm going to save. <laughs> yeah, I suppose what is enough lives, huh? I don't know how long it's going to take me to do this. coping mechanism. If I think that I've gotten enough lives in my head, it's like, it's fine. You have enough. You have the tools required to do this. You can do it. I'm gonna say... 40. Let's say 40. Probably won't be enough, but... Let's just see. Ah, ah! I think that still works anyway. Oh. Okay, never mind. I blame my lack of rhythm when it comes to games. Good. It's alright, that's enough anyway. Okay. I said 40. Alright, so even if I game over, this should be okay. Wait, wrong way. Wait, there's dragon coins? I haven't seen any yet. This is definitely some Battletoad shit. Ah. Okay. It feels like I'm doing the turbo tunnel or something. Nah, missed it. Yeah, they're all here, so... See, this seems fine, like... This is cool. Why- why front load it with just something annoying? I know the answer to the question, and I just- again, coping mechanism, why? What? How, how did I get up there the first time? I can't seem to make that jump again. I think I'm just jumping slightly too late. Okay. This is not going to be enough lives. I can I can see that already now. I got faked. <laughs> mm. 
No. Now I'm doing this in style. Reverse. Like, how was I supposed to know that was gonna... Alright, whatever. It's acquired. I don't have to worry about it now. So I spent 14 lives acquiring one coin. This is going to go fantastically. What? Liar! <laughs> this hack is incredible, but you would never finish. Why? Do you think that it would frustrate you too much, or does it get way too difficult? I felt like I was pretty close to the end when my data got corrupted. You're not good at Super Mario World, way better at NES games. Ah, I can understand that. I mean, if I was to pick a Mario that I'm most comfortable with in terms of physics, it would be Mario 1. Because that's probably the one that I played the most as a kid. I would play Super Mario World at my cousin's house. I have good taste, thanks. I mean, it was also a result of, like, we had very few games growing up. We had the Mario Trilogy. Mario 3 was the one that we would play together, like me and my brother. But Mario 1 was the one that, like, I just threw myself out over and over again. I was really sad when Mario 35... Uh, disappeared, because I was having a lot of fun with that. And doing really well. It was fun to play that, and, like... I think on average I was top 5 every time I played that game. I mean, granted, it did alter the physics a bit, but still. I kind of wish the game stuck around. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get lives. Hang on. Okay, I'm reading now has recently beaten some messed up games like Time Lord and Festus Quest. Oh, Festus Quest, jeez. I should play Super Mario World for Lost Players. It's an SMB1 style Super Mario World hack. Wait, so... It's an NES game? That is styled... Wait, so I... Hang on, is it... Super Mario 1 in Super Mario World, or is it the other way around? You love Festus Quest. Yeah, I mean... It, I, I had a cousin that loved Simon's Quest. <laughs> One of... I mean, arguably one of the worst games, um, 
Castlevania wise anyway. But he loved playing that game. That game was just a result of bad time. Oh wow, okay, dying. It's a good game, but the problem is, like, some of the stuff... A wasn't translated well. And B... I mean, some of it was so damn cryptic. And I guess also, the fact that it wasn't translated well didn't help that. I don't know how on earth he figured out the tornado thing, but he did. Yeah, the tornado, holy water, ground to find pitfalls, that... That boss that you can just skip, you can just walk past. Um... And the only way I saw the ending of that was through the, uh... AVGN video. And even the endings they messed up, like, the good ending is the bad ending, and vice versa. Or at least it seems that way, like it's it's a, a really weird ending to the game. Alright, I got a good one for y'all. Now this one is less, uh... There's less opinions that say that this game is good. But I, when I rented it as a kid, I actually had fun with Space Ace on the Super Nintendo, I'll say it. And that is, that is widely considered one of the worst Super Nintendo games. Maybe because it was a rental and, you know, we didn't really get new games as, as kids. And rentals were our only ways of playing new games. But I- I had fun with it. Ah, uh, okay. Well. I gotta die again, unfortunately. The game is hard, yeah. <laughs> um. So, the story behind that game is, um, if you, if you know Dragon's Lair, that series, um, they made a space-based one, it was called Space Ace. So, in the arcade, it was all the same as Dragon's Lair, video-based, um, you just had to do the correct input and react to the footage. So, they were like, hey, why don't we port this to the Super Nintendo? So, they did, and it's nothing like the Dragon's Lair style, it's... An action platformer, um, where your character moves really, really slow and has a gigantic hitbox, and that's pretty much what gets you killed. I challenge anyone to go into that game blind and not die in the first 10 seconds of the game. You can't do it, like, you will start that game and you will die in the first 10 seconds, guaranteed. For those that have played it, you know what I'm talking about. But, I'll say it again, I had fun with it. Maybe I was young and didn't know better. Maybe it was just being happy to play a different game that wasn't part of my collection as a kid. But I did have fun with it. But I know it's horrible, like, I'm aware. It has so many problems with it. Dragon's coin save if I save. I'm going to do that then. Oops, wrong button. Yeah, I'm gonna do that now. So wait, the true ending, you have to beat it without dying. Jeez. Nah, I'm good. 
I just remember one one of the funniest things about that game was they had very uh, bad sound effect choices. The main character just constantly sounds like he's in, he's in pain. Like, in fact, you know what? Since we're talking about it, and it's a little bit of a lull since I need to go get lives anyway, let me let me pull up the footage of Space Ace whilst I refill the lives. How does that sound? Okay. Because I'm going to need to get lives and, you know, may as, may as well, right? Maybe this will encourage you to give it a try. I mean, I'll tell you right now, as bad as it is, it's... Think about the content. <laughs> okay, let's see. Space A Super... Nintendo long play. We want one without commentary. Okay, here we go. Got it. Okay. The audio from the game will disappear for a sec, but I'm still doing the lives. Okay. So this is Space Ace. For the Super Nintendo. Oh wait, but then uh, my desktop is gone. Never mind, I can't do it. But let's just quickly look at it. So the crusty graphics here are great. Okay. So you know you play this kid. He got transformed into a kid by this asshole here, that's the plot. And you're trying to become an adult. So you need to avoid his attacks. These are showing you some secrets. So you can see, based on the movements, there's not a whole lot of area you can do to move. The jumping is very floaty. And the guy sounds like he's in pain when he just jumps. He's like, Aah! And then every now and then you can become your adult self and you go into this heroic sequence. Oh, this long play makes it look easy, but believe me, to do this without dying, it's a one shot you're dead type scenario. I guarantee you will you will spend at least an hour on this first stage. And the thing about the thing about this is, right? This does match one to one to what happens in the uh the real space ace. Right? It does match to the to the video footage. It's just the gameplay is really, really clunky. So now here's the best part. This is what makes the game just extra spicy. The space maze. No map. Things look basically the same, and you have to try and find your way to the next stage. And, you know, it's just a swell. Some of them take you into stages, others don't. Anyway. <laughs> I think the game had a lot of good ideas, it's just the problem was the, the, the character was too big, and it was clunky. There are parts of the game that are technically impressive, I agree. It's just... Uh, it's the platforming that unfortunately dooms it. Um, 
I think it's worth a look. Just because, I mean, it, ha it has the reputation of being one of the worst Super Nintendo games ever. But it was ambitious. And then you should play the real Space Ace, especially if you're into animation. Gotta head to sleep. Good luck with the jumping. Alright, thanks, Pat. Thanks for uh, hanging out. I also appreciate the raid very much. This was... <laughs> See what happens when I'm not paying attention? That was horrible. Yeah, Space Ace is, is punishing, infuriating, janky, clunky, whatever you want to call it. And I think that's why it's a fun game to stream, because it definitely gets conversation, and, uh... I mean, people find it entertaining when the streamer struggles a little. I don't know, like... There was something about it that I, I guess I enjoyed. Maybe because it was in space. Seemed like a cool theme. Maybe it was because... And this is, this is a possibility. But, uh... I did get burned once by... By a Mario game. As a rental. Maybe that had happened the last time we rented a game. I'm not sure. But, okay. I've told this story before, but I'll tell it again. Picture this. You don't get... You're a kid. And you don't have many games. And the only way you get new games is to get... Get them borrowed from a place, right? So you get taken there and you get told, Alright, you can get a game this week. So you're happy. You go to the game section, there's a shelf with all these games on it. And then right front and center, you see there's a Mario game. And you look at it and you're like, oh wow, I've never seen this Mario game before. I thought I'd played all the Mario games. I, I have the first three, I ha I have played Super Mario World, I've got Super Mario World 2. What is this Mario game? Mario's Time Machine, wow. Is this going to be like Back to the Future? I love Back to the Future. Fuck yeah, we're getting Mario's Time Machine. Now... Those already know how bad Mario's Time Machine, but let me up the ante a little. I live in Australia, where we don't really learn about American history. So imagine playing that game not knowing the history that it's trying to teach you. And that's sort of required, so it's asking you these questions about... American history that you know nothing of and you and your brother are desperately trying to find the game for like a good two hours You're there and you're like no come on this can't be the whole game I just remember there's like a lake And you're going across the lake for whatever reason I don't remember but that's that's all I remember from that game is there's a lake Because that's as far as we got I, I just felt- I felt so betrayed. Anyway, I got 53 lives, that should be enough, hopefully. I'll save the game, so the dragon coins are saved. Back in the day you got tricked into Mario's Missing, which is equally not as fun. Mario's Missing? What are you doing that one? I feel like I've heard of this one as well. 
If I was to take a guess, it's another one of these edutainment type things. Go around the countries and learn about the world. But see, I feel, I feel like that at least... It's teaching you about the world and could be somewhat interesting. I'm not saying American history is boring or anything, but like when the core mechanic of the game kind of requires you to know a little bit about it to begin with, um, you can't really get anywhere. At least with that, I would imagine they're trying to do like a Carmen San Diego type thing only with Mario, if I was to take a guess on it. Ah, oh, I couldn't jump. I tried. Just die again. You learned that King Kong was part of New York's history and belonged to it. What? <laughs> I don't know. I, I learned a bit of my history from the, uh... 1998 McDonald Land CD that was given out by McDonald's Australia. An interactive experience that would hand out licenses as well. It was it was great. What? That didn't work. Alright, let's just... I'm gonna see a little bit of the rest of the stage. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna try and complete it, because I want... I don't want to have to go through the first half of that stage again. This is pretty much keep going until you get all the dragon coins, otherwise, yeah. I have to repeat the pain that that first stage is. What? Ha huh? How am I supposed to do that? Am I just slightly missing the jump? Okay, we got this. Oops. Wait, you return him from Cooper's who stuffed them in a little sized bag to the info stand of the town. Because one, Donkey Kong exists next to King Kong now in Mario Law. Two, Cooper's got clean away with King Kong of all things. Three, they put him in a cat sized bag without any problems. And four, why is New York concerned he got stolen? They want him back. Didn't the movie involved around him getting off the building? What do you mean? Like, I didn't see anything wrong with that. What? How do I get that? <laughs> Tried. All right, look, I'll I'll do. Oh God. Uh. Oh my God, what is that? Wait, no, no, no! Don't finish the stage. No. Uh oh. Can I die? Is there a way for me to die? There's a way for me to die. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to finish the stage. 
Because if I do, I have to go through all of that again. Also, wait, what? There's still... I missed two dragon coins. There's one missing. Where is it? I mean, at least I've seen the rest of the stage now. What? <laughs> I can't get that. <laughs> I've tried. Alright, whatever. Keep trying. I'm sure that it's like a very precise jump. Unless anyone has any helpful advice to get in there. Keep hitting that. Aha! Got it. Okay. Just a matter of time. Well, I, I messed that one up. Okay. All right, so now I just got to do this and get up there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <gasps> no, wait, but... Okay, just die, just die. Just die. <laughs> Please tell me the checkpoint didn't reset. Ah, oh, that's rude. So rude. Breathe easy here. Okay, <laughs> get me away. Get me away from this wretched stage. Ah, it's done. <laughs> oh, I thought this was just going to link up and do nothing else. I'm going to go save it. Uh, just I have 53 lives, but I don't know, like. Somewhere a car drives into a power pole and sends the grid offline and, you know, save file is gone. Okay, I can rest easy now. I did it again, I went north instead of... Okay. Who made the stage? Okay. Okay. 
This is very relaxing music. Wait, where have I heard this before? Where have I heard this before? I've heard this somewhere. Uh-oh. Is this from Mario Galaxy? No. Have I attended any tea parties lately? May have heard the song there. Hmm. <sighs> I'm probably gonna remember when it doesn't matter anymore. That's usually what happens. I mean, I like it. It's, it's nice and calm. Just a nice contrast to uh, what I've been going through for the past 20 minutes or so. see how I go, but if, if I have to, I'll go get the fire flower. Oh, this is... Ugh. Okay. Ah. <laughs> oh. Why, why am I getting the coins? <laughs> I'm just paranoid because there have been times where coins lead to somewhere. If this was vanilla, I, I wouldn't attempt to get them, but I've just had cases where they, they do mean something, like they're pointing out something. That was close. Okay. We'll, we'll just be tiny then. Oh, okay. <laughs> Despawn? No. Uh, huh. Ah, I got impatient. I just want to reach that next, uh, Yoshi house. I don't know. That's what the icon is. It might not be that. There's no doubt that'll be a save point, so. I do want to get some Binding of Isaac in today, so. Gotta look at moving to that soon. I should go get the Fire Flower. <laughs> Oh, that's no, okay. 
Uh. Oh, this is this is cursed. Ooh. <laughs> I thought I was gonna pay for it there. Oh, checkpoint. Okay, hang on. What was back here? If anything. Okay, it was nothing. there'd be something here. There's still two dragon coins to find. I'll just go back this way. This wasn't too bad to get through. Let's try! Let's go. Oh, I don't know if I'll get this. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> I mean, they've been doing all right, but that part just seems a little tedious. Fire flower crutch. so nice and calming. It's like the perfect palate cleanser after the struggle that was that stage. Ooh, I may have gone too early. Yep, I went too early. Well, I suppose I can take the fly fire flower, but keeping it is a whole other story. That's not... That's not easy. I'm just gonna have to try, normally. Okay, it's fine. I think this is all I need. Honestly, I don't know how I did this first try without without messing it up. <laughs> how? <laughs> I 
Ah. Okay, but I, I, I'm caving. Uh, there has to be a stage I can go to that's closer. Guess not. Okay. Fine. Oops. stage. One where you can calm down and slow your speaking voice to match the tone of the music. It's okay. We have a backup. Now this should be fine. <laughs> smiley face? What is this smiley face? Uh... See, now I don't trust this. <laughs> well, I mean, look, if it's a dragon coin, I care, otherwise I don't. I see it. I saw it. Very subtle. Can I hit it from here? I don't think I can. Okay, just... Oh, come on, that's- that's rude. <laughs> that is so rude. Oh, okay, cool. I guess that's what it- what it was encouraging. Oh, it didn't go to the left. Oh, I wanted it to go to the left. As much as the name of that stage intrigues me, I, I gotta move on to Isaac, so I'm gonna go save. Horse eating disorder. That's gotta be a Yoshi thing, there's no way there's, they programmed a horse into this. Okay. That was a good session. Uh, I'll continue this tomorrow, pretty much at the same time. Wasn't that next level also a Morse level? Psh, I don't know. I'll tell you what, I'll go check it out so then I can mentally prepare. Maybe? 
but yeah, uh, if you're here for Janked Up Mario Party, appreciate you stopping by. I'm gonna play some Binding of Isaac for a bit. So, that's what I'm gonna do next. I just need to stretch my legs for like five minutes because I've been sitting here for a couple of hours. And it's important to stretch, so... If you're down for some Isaac, get yourself a snack or something. Um, and yeah, we'll pick this up tomorrow, as per usual. Levels were fun today. I had, despite that, uh, that struggle with that other stage, it was fine. Alright chat, give me five minutes. I'm gonna leave you with some video game music whilst I go hydrate and do all the uh, functional adult stuff. Yeah, I'll see you all in five.